Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for June 6th through June 12th. As always, this is a general read. It's not going to be everybody's story. So take it as it resonates. Also check out your sun, rising, and moon signs for additional insights and information. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is in the description below. Uh, and make sure that you understand that I will not be doing any readings between June 12th and June 20th. I will be on vacation and my slots in the meantime are limited uh, because I'm going to be busy doubling up on readings to try to make sure that there's still content being scheduled to go live while I am on vacation. So you don't miss me, you know. Anyhow, if you're new to my channel, I welcome you aboard the Mystic Tribe, okay? Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified when I upload videos, when I have giveaways, and when I do my free reading Wednesdays. I do live free mini card pulls on my channel every Wednesday evening. It's my free reading Wednesdays. Um, make sure you hit that thumbs up button while you're at it. <clears throat> okay? Now, without further ado... Let's get into your reading. We're going to start with an angel message. I did do some pre-shuffling. But we'll shuffle it a couple more times. Okay. See what blessed messages do you have for my Virgos? There we go. We got your message. And it is the Four of Fire. Beautiful energy. The Four of Fire brings about stability. It deals with your home life in most cases. Sometimes it can be your work environment or business. But it brings about a sense of stability, a sense of celebrating. Okay, let's see what this, um, the message on it says is, contentment peace and abundance a happy home life the successful completion of a project so you're going to feel like you may be feeling like celebrating this week okay this is about bringing about some sense of peace and harmony and balance something that has been well needed much needed for you virgos okay and we're going to get into the Psychic Tarot that I also use as an Oracle deck. Let's see what blessed messages Spirit has for you guys. See how many cards fall off for you guys. I just go through the deck and... However many times I'm told, and however many cards that come out. Okay. You have three cards that came out, and I read them in no particular order. But you have the three, this is like the three of pentacles energy. This is alliances and partnerships. Okay. This is working with other people. The handshake agreement is what I'm being told. A handshake agreement may be in a, with somebody in a place of authority. Uh, some of you may be dealing with law. I'm hearing um, lawsuits possibly. But I feel like that there are, in, in a general sense, the lawsuit things is very specific. Okay. Somebody may be coming to an agreement with a lawsuit. And I got to show you this. We also have the waiting game, which is the two of pentacles. We have a two, we have a three, and we have a four. We This is a progression of events that's going to be happening over this weekend. So I feel like if you are waiting, you've been playing the waiting game, maybe waiting on an answer of whether or not a contract or some kind of agreement would be reached for you and and you're waiting for a decision deci decision by somebody in a place of authority this could be uh, an attorney this could be a, a a boss even 
but I feel like you're waiting on an answer to something. Um, some of you may also be, you know, th this agreement might also involve boundaries, setting up boundaries, setting up some sense of structure, following the rules. But I feel like that there is going to be an agreement happen that is going to bring about a sense of happiness and abundance. So you have something really good, some, some kind of an agreement, some kind of contract coming up this week. I love this energy. This is like a breath of fresh air for you guys. Okay, let's see what else comes up for you. Ten of Swords. I feel as though you're coming from an energy of struggling. Feeling pinned down. Um, maybe even a betrayal or uh, some sort of um, a painful experience. I'm hearing surgery. Somebody may have gone through surgery. I don't know who that's for. That's very specific. That might be what this lawsuit's about. Um, if it is a lawsuit. If it's about a job, you might have been struggling. Um, but with the number 10, that is an ending. So the struggles are ending, Virgo. And we have the Four of Cups. I think you've been thinking about this, contemplating this. I feel like you are definitely playing the waiting game, waiting on this contract or waiting on this agreement or some some kind of sense of balance to be restored. Uh, I feel like that there is an offer. There's there's some sort of offer that you've been waiting on that is coming to you. And I like it in this card that the crow is focused on the cup being offered and not the, the other three cups of the past. Okay. So you might have been trying to, I feel like this is something you've been working on for a while. And I feel like you may have had other offers, other opportunities that you passed up because they weren't exactly in alignment with what you were trying to achieve. They weren't in alignment with your own goals. But I feel like there is something out of the blue that is going to come up. The waiting game is going to be over. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. You have been patient. You were sitting in this energy. I think this is your energy. You were sitting in it. You were patient. And I feel as though your patience has run out. You may even be forcing some kind of resolution here. Nine of Pentacles. This is, again, abundance. See, uh, and see the sun in there, the sun shining again. This is, I mean, this is actually a pretty decent reading in, overall. You're moving out of the struggling and you are getting this offer that you no longer have to wait for, that you're patiently waiting. And I feel like that you may, I'm, I'm hearing you communicating with somebody saying, come on now, let's settle this once and for all. And kind of like taking the stand, taking the lead, getting to your goals. Okay. Nines represent a, it's not, it's not an ending, but it's a sense of completion. It's a sense of accomplishment. Accomplishment is a better word. Okay. Almost there, but not quite, but you're sitting very, very independent. And I think that maybe you took it upon yourself by yourself to try to bring about these negotiations, speed them up because you were done waiting. Page of Swords energy. This is truth being told. This is, uh, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, that's bad news or that may be an uncomfortable conversation. But that might be, you might be, like you know, I said you're taking the initiative. You might be forcing it. You might have to, be a little bit stern with your communications to get this goal accomplished, to get this contract or get this, get some, or maybe even a dispute settled. I just feel that there is some kind of um, alliances or is some kind of final decision being made and where everybody's going to finally get on the same page and work together here. 
And this is also being very clear on your intentions. Okay. I think you're going to, I can clear communications this week. And then we have the four of pentacles. This is being very guarded, holding on to something. I feel like you are holding on to your truth. You are stick. I hear you sticking to your guns. You're sticking to your guns on this because you know what you deserve. Okay. Nine of wands in the reverse is you're not dealing with it anymore. You're not fighting anymore. You're, you're like, this is it. Something has to give and you are communicating. You are making things happen. I feel like you are taking the initiative to get the ball rolling here. And it's going to start rolling very quickly. But you're holding tight. And I, I, I'm seeing this as you are standing by your truth. Okay. You're standing by your truth in this. And you've run out of patience with somebody. You were very patient, very nurturing, very understanding. But I think that person that you are dealing with, whoever you're dealing with, kind of like took advantage, took their time, and maybe even took you for granted. They may have offered you nothing in return, empty promises. But now there's a... Now I feel like the universe is stepping in and there is something big coming. There is a sense of abundance coming. And the end result is going to be the celebrating this, this harmony, this getting what you want. It's what I'm, what I'm seeing here. You're going to get what you want, but I think you are going to have to t make, make the initiative. You're going to have to get the ball rolling. You're going to have to step up to the plate and communicate your, communicate to somebody very sternly, very straight. Okay, no ambiguity, right? Do not be ambiguous. Be very straight. Be very clear. And determine, I get to, I'm getting determination here. And you taking the lead and, and being in a place of authority yourself. Saying, okay, this is how it is. Okay. But that's what I have for you, Virgo. I love you all. And blessed be.